right now. We're going to... All right, go ahead. All right, uh, I'm Rick Adams. I'm from Brewer, Maine. I'm a student at University of Maine. Yep, and I'm Ryan Adams from Brewer, Maine, and I go to Hudson University. Right on. And this is your moose. Yeah, this is my moose. We were both lucky enough this year to both get drawn for bull permits in uh, zone one and two. And uh, my brother, he got his yesterday morning at 11:30, and then I got mine last night at six o'clock. Really? Yeah. So it's pretty cool to both uh, tag out on the same day. Right on. Yeah. And w where's the other moose right now? Uh, the other one's already being cut up. He is. And dropped off. Right on. How much did he weigh in at? Uh, mine weighed in at 5:55. And then this was 727, right on. <laughs> They're not going to get anything. Over a thousand pounds. This is way more than that. Yeah. They've been running too long. A thousand. What did it weigh? Yeah, we're going to have to. Probably about six, eight, six. Six hundred and eighty-six pounds. A new silhouette, though. That's crazy. But you know, when I was young, too, I used to. They used to. They used to. So what's our excuse now, though? <laughs> Okay, um, so tell us the story. What went down? All right, um, well, since we were kind of, we split up into two groups because we had two trucks going, and so I went with my dad in this truck, and we just, uh, we went down a road and that we had scouted the weekend before, and we saw some nice bulls up there. So... We were lucky enough to come down to a chopping and saw my guys standing there. So we just got out and dropped them there. Let him have it. What'd you shoot him with? Uh, 308 caliber rifle, yeah. yeah. And um, so getting them out was pretty easy. We had some friends from around the area that helped us that we met. And so we just dragged them out. And, up here. That was How much was it? 9.53. No! God, I wish you wouldn't find them before I did. Uh, that suck. Clinton, me. What was yours? 9.92? Yeah. 9.88. Yeah, mine was a little different. Uh, my brother's a little better shot than I am. So, uh, we're, we just got done uh, helping him kind of get out. We went out and checked it out. And uh, we were driving back out to camp, and we were on, right on the main logging road. And we look up ahead, and there's a, this bull and then a cow standing on the road. And kind of where they were, they were on a corner, so we didn't want to take a shot on the road. So I got out and I started, I walked up towards him, and then while I was walking at him, he actually walked right towards me. And so I got to like 70 yards maybe, and I got to a spot where I was shooting into the, into the woods. And so I took a shot, and he just kind of looks at me, turns around and walks up in the chopper, and I'm like, are you seeing this? So I get up, get up in the chopping, and I kind of follow him, follow him up, and he only went like 50 yards up into it. And so and he just stood there looking at me, and all I could see was from his neck up. And so I took a shot, and just starts shaking his head. And so I'm like, okay. Let's go, Rick. Let's, pull, let's, let's do this. And so I take one more shot, and I see him kind of turn, flop, and then go down. And so that, that was great. Went up uh, to check him out and everything. And then that's when the fun all started. So it's getting dark. Uh, my dad had the trailer with Ryan's moose on it still, and no cell service. No cell service. So oh my gosh. I 
I stay with the moose and my girlfriend stays with me. And we're like, okay, we'll start cleaning it up. You guys go get the trailer and come back and get us. And my mom was like, yeah, it'll be like an hour. It won't be too long. And so we're um, cleaning them out and everything. And the whole time, it's, it's dark now. And my girlfriend Anna's like, hey, I can use some snapping up in the woods. I'm like, no, it's the wind. Like, don't worry about it. And so I, I hear a big snap. And so I kind of stop and I have a headlight. And I'm like, yeah, I heard that one. And then I hear another one. I shine my light out and I see two big green eyes, uh, like 40 yards away maybe. Oh my gosh. And it's, of course, it's between us and the road. And so I look at it and I yell, and I just make some noise to try and scare it. And it steps out just so I could see it. And it's a huge bull moose. It's oh my a, gosh. Like, bigger than this one. And it's between us and the road, and it's just staring at us. And then it gives a big grunt. And like you can see like the steam come out of its nose when he grunts. And so I'm, I tell Anna to get behind a big tree, because we're in this like the middle of a chopping. And then luckily, uh, right after a big tractor trailer went by, it must have spooked him and kind of uh, made him take off. But we, we were like trying to think what we're going to do. Like, you know, it was scary there for a bit. So, did you have a vehicle with you? No. Oh my gosh, so yeah. you guys were just like in the middle of nowhere. We yeah, we had like flagging out on the road just so they knew where to get oh us. Oh my we were gosh. like 26 miles in, so. That's awesome. And all I had was my, my pistol on me, which. Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much for sharing your stories. It was yeah, fantastic. It was a lot of fun. All right, thank you.